Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. I know that many of you have the same concern. So what do you need to do and how to set up a proper uh, size for your engraving image? For example, if I want to engrave a logo or uh, something on a card, I need to know exact sizes where this, this name will be engraved. So uh, you can actually use cardboard uh, like this and engrave uh, like parameter, uh, uh, engrave perimeter of the initial image. So this could be one solution. Uh, another solution that I want to to offer that you can have a glass, a like thick glass that you can use on your 3D printer on your bed or CNC router, and um, double uh, double tape, uh, double side tape. So let's uh, let's cover a piece of glass with the with a tape and uh, see what we can do about it with it. So uh, so we have it here. Okay, let me. I'm not able to show you this, but anyway, it's it's not a big deal. Okay, so I cover I cover. Uh, the glass with this tape, so it's double double side. I remove it, and we see, we have um, now we can engrave the parameter perimeter and see initial initial um, dimensions of the um, of the image. Okay, map zoom. Okay, and let's. Let's see dimensions later on. Okay. Now you see that uh, you can see pretty well the uh, rectangle of the um, where the laser will do engraving and now you can actually put your uh, for example uh, metal part or whatever it depends on, on what you plan to engrave or cut and put it here so um, that that's that's possible so this is one one option another thing that I wanted to show that you can use uh, luminous it's it's a cool thing let me just grab it on the table so this is luminous it's a uh, powder powder and you can put it under under the glass remove it So glass is clean, relatively clean, and I put it under, under, under the piece of glass. Okay, I want to make sure that you guys can see everything quite well. Okay, main focus, and let me engrave also the dimensions. So you see that. Uh, from this perspective, let me just do zoom in. That you can see where it's been. I, I think I need to turn off the light. Okay. And do once again. I 
So you see I turn off the laser and you still see this rectangle. It's still glowing and it's a good thing that it glows for another a few seconds and you can position your item that you want to cut on grave in this rectangle. The good thing for luminous that uh, you can use it as many times as you want so you don't need to replace it and you see that now it's I can set up uh, more power and it will glow for longer time a little bit so yes you can see now um, yeah I really like using uh, luminos I think it's really good thing if you want to know exact sizes of the image you want to cut or engrave and you can use it for many 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 times but uh, luminous is very sensitive to light so you need to do it in dark uh, with, with standoff light so uh, so hope that you like this video and it will help you to make better laser cutting and laser engravings with endurance lasers have a great and wonderful experience with us bye bye